Congressman Randy, was the suspect injured in this? That young man ended up in the hospital with a broken foot. DPD now looking into whether or not all of its policies were followed. That pursuit, guys, ended right here, and it was all caught on camera. Oh, my God. A Detroit cop is under investigation after using his scout car to ram and pin a fleeing biker against the building. It happened as officers chased the 19-year-old rider and a few others downtown last Thursday evening. And it all started right here near Huntington Plaza, where police say four off-road vehicles were driving recklessly and doing stunts in the middle of the roadway. An officer tried to conduct a traffic stop, but all four riders bolted. Police say this biker put the public at risk, driving on the wrong side of Jefferson and on a sidewalk as officers tried to stop him. He ended up with a broken foot when the cop in question struck him with his car. On the face of it, you know, we don't want our scout cars coming into contact, but I also don't want to prejudge it until I've talked to the officers and we've done a thorough investigation. DPD's Chris Gravelin heads up the professional standards section and says they'll be looking into why the officers chased the biker. The department's policy only allows pursuits for violent crimes. What exactly were the officers, uh, what had they seen, what information did they have, and uh, why did they feel the need to uh, pursue this particular individual? The Georgia Frank Dillard says those are moot points. And he, just, he just tried to outrun the policemen. That's what he tried to do. He thought he could outrun them, and he found out he couldn't outrun them. Put himself in the hospital. They didn't put him in there. He put himself in there. Biker and tow truck company owner Lavish Williams has another take. I'm not saying that it was all right for him to run or not stop. I don't know why he didn't stop. I wasn't there. But to see the police use their cruiser to push an individual into a building, leaving them with a broken leg, come on, that's a lot of liability. The incident in question is the latest squabble in DPD's ongoing crackdown on off-road vehicles. We all uh, want people to enjoy the use of their ATVs, but they also have to follow the rules of the road, especially in these highly populated areas and in the neighborhoods. Uh, this can create very dangerous situations for our other citizens. Now, the officer in question has been placed on desk duty while this investigation is underway. The young man who was struck and pinned up against this wall, he was arrested for fleeing and eluding police. The investigation, as I just mentioned, is ongoing. Roop Taren. Well, was there any mention of quite possibly just like a vehicle is considered a weapon that perhaps this motor bike may have been an issue where police feared that that could injure someone and that's why they felt that they needed to stop with a vehicle? Well, and that's something that police, uh, the department is going to be looking into. The fact that there were people out, the fact that he was driving the wrong way on Jefferson while eluding police when they tried to make that traffic stop are all things that are going to be taken into consideration as police weigh what happened right at this spot. So that is something that is very much being considered. It will be interesting to find out what is concluded after all the investigation is complete. Thank you so much.